Well, here's somebody calling from Ireland. So, uh, is it Cara in Longford? Yes. Thank you yes, for waiting. Me. Oh, wow. I can't believe I'm through. And to my two favorite hosts as well. Awesome. Um, <laughs> hi. Um, how are you? <laughs> hi. I, uh, I, um, so, uh, yeah, I just came over all stuttery. I apologize. No worries. Um, so I wanted to talk about you, you promote positive atheism and the separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious about how that works in a place like America that has, uh, 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 doesn't have a state-sponsored religion to the extent that Ireland does. For example, I can't say I'm an atheist. I have to say non-Catholic and sort of explain from there, mm. because there isn't there isn't a word in my small town, my small community, for atheist that is satisfactory to the people I interact with. Hmm. You know, and and we have we have. We don't have separation of church and state in terms yeah. of like Easter and Christmas and things. Everything shuts down. Mm -hmm. Well, know, everything that's shuts not down here you too. Have there. Everything shuts yeah. down here too for e or almost everything for Easter mm -hmm. and Christmas. Actually, mostly Christmas. Um, and and that's actually just a matter of practicality because Christmas, despite having um, some fairly strong Christian origins, is not in fact a Christian holiday. At least not the way it's celebrated in the West. When you ask people to list the five or ten things that they first think of when they think of Christmas. Uh, Jesus and anything religious would be lucky to crack the top five um, because the things that they think of, you know, presents and dinner with family and snow and snowmen and trees and shopping and none of those things are, are Christian. And some of them, I mean, Christian was actually expressly outlawed by Puritans and others uh, who were Christian. Um, so it's, kind of, it's just kind of practical for the United States to make this a federal holiday because they know almost everybody's going to take that day off anyway because the bulk of the population celebrates it. Like 90% of Americans or more celebrate Christmas, and only 70% are Christian. 70%. And some of the Christians don't celebrate it. So, I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah. But as far as church-state separation, uh, I don't know that you can actually get proper church-state separation when you have a state religion, but there are ways to lobby for laws that uh, would establish something something like church-state separation that would say, yes, in fact, we have a state, I would actually be lobbying to abolish the state religion. Yeah. Um, and there are places that have done that. It's just, you know, in the UK, well, in, in, it's going to be different in Ireland, and I apologize. Uh, in the UK, uh, the C of E is pretty much a big joke, and nobody really cares that there's a state religion, because uh, it, it does, just doesn't factor into much of anything. In Ireland, it's different. Very different. You say that Christmas is about, you know, family and stuff. Here, it's about are you going to midnight mass or morning mass? Yes. Yeah. And if yeah. you're not going to either, what's wrong with you? Yeah. You know? I think, I think what you need... Oh, go ahead. No, uh, what I was going to say is one of the things that you can do, and, and this is if you're comfortable being out as an atheist, is to be, be open with the fact that you don't believe. Um, I mean, this is one of the things that I think really turned the tide for... Um, the whole gay rights movement um, was people being open about it and not hiding in a closet. No, I understand that, and I mean that's a huge thing. And my my family are, are atheists. Well, yeah. my mother tells you she's a pagan on a bad day, but uh, yeah. but um, but also I do a lot of volunteer work in my small town, and I'm interacting with nuns quite regularly, mm -hmm. and. These are women who've dedicated their life to doing good. And while they've done that in the name of a religion, I can't find myself to take it against them. So I hate to cause offense. Yeah, so and, mo and wh what you may find is that a lot of them, a lot of them may not actually believe the religious supernatural aspects. We have you know, the, the clergy project worldwide, which is talking to people who are members of the clergy who don't actually believe anymore. Um, we're finding this to be more common uh, I, my hope is that someday you'll be able to, to say you're an atheist and people, the Catholics around you won't be confused uh, because we've, we've Not just educated confused, them. upset. Yeah. Well, upset Genuinely is something they're upset. just going to have to deal with. Yeah, you can be responsible <laughs> for their emotional reaction to you saying who you are. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's but the I mean, big... I also... I apologize, Sorry. but we've I apologize, but we've run completely out of time. Um, they're oh, actually getting no. ready to put the credits up. 
Um, you can try to call back again next week, or you can email us, tv at atheist-community.org. And, uh, I it's actually right there. emailed you before, and you emailed me back a really nice message, Matt, so thank you. Oh, good. Well, you're one of the five, then, because <laughs> I have like 6,000 unread emails. Yeah. Thank you, Cara, so much Thanks. for calling. I appreciate it. Thanks to all the people who make this show possible and our studio audience who's joined us this week. Uh, we'll be going to uh, El Arroyo after the show, and they try to put the address up. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.